Hello, this is Dixie, and I am here with a technique of coloring seam binding with distress stains. And as you can see from this completed project picture, it comes out beautiful, and it's really easy. I start with the Hug Snug brand. It's the only brand I've tried, and it works great. And I just cut off what I need, and I am working on a Ranger craft mat. That seems to work best. And I am just going to apply the distress stains that I used in my project. I'm starting with the lightest color first, mustard seed, and then adding in the picked raspberry, and then finishing up with uh, the peacock feathers. And I'm not too worried about getting it on there perfect because it does wick and move on that um, seam binding. And then I'm just going to scrunch it up. I do want the scrunched ribbon um, look, and so I'm going to keep scrunching it and drying it. And if you wanted it to be a smoother ribbon, you would just smooth it out and dry it, and it would look the same as it did before you added any um, ink to it. As you can see, I'm just kind of rolling it between my fingers and scrunching it, and yes, that ink, I mean, that heat tool is hot, so I'm not leaving my fingers under it too long. But I'm just trying to get a good um, ruffled bend to that ribbon, and it dries pretty quick. I, I haven't sped this up at all, so you can see it just takes, what, 15 or 20 seconds to dry. And I have a, a seam binding ribbon that matches my tag perfectly. I just fold it in half and push the middle through the hole in the tag and then bring the rest of that ribbon through the loop that I have made and pull gently. And there it is. It's all done. Perfect end to a beautiful tag. Thanks for watching, and you can see the rest of this project on YouTube. It's called the Glittered Eiffel Tower Tag, and I go through and show you step-by-step -step how to create the entire tag. Thank you for watching, and follow me on Facebook and Google+.